Okay, I'm going to do this question from the first Fizz 1001 test because it bugs me. It bugs me because 15% of people got it right. Now, were you to simply guess, okay, if everyone just guessed, then you would expect 20% of students to get it right, okay? So whenever a question does worse than guessing, you think, oh, there's a problem. So let's go through the question quickly and see what the right answer is. Okay, so let's read. Two blocks, there they are, sit together on a level frictionless surface. One block has a mass of three kilograms and the other two kilograms. A force of 10 newton is applied to the larger block horizontally through its center of mass, while an opposing force of five newton is applied to the smaller block. Here's the situation, there we are. The magnitude of the force exerted by the more massive block on the less massive block is equal to. So how much force does this block exert on this block? Easy, okay. Well, let's go through the potential answers. Firstly, logically, you say this 10 newtons here is transmitted through this solid block and comes out here as a full 10 newtons. Easy. So B is the answer. Oh, no, it's not. That's not right. Okay. Well, of course it's not right. We were supposed to take into account this force as well. You've got 10 newtons from there, but 5 newtons from there. So you put them together, and obviously now the net force is just going to be 5 newtons to the right. So that it's 5 newtons. Oh, no, it's not. Oh, sorry, that's not right either. Uh, of course it's not. They're in opposite directions. You're looking here in the middle. One's pushing that way, one's pushing that way. They have to add. The force must be 15 newtons. Ah, no, sorry, that one's wrong too. Okay. Uh, so, how do we do this? All right, I'm going to do it properly now. First of all, let's draw... I'm drawing both blocks together and between them they have a mass of 5 kilograms. Acting to the right is a force of 10 newtons and to the left is a force of 5 newtons. Newton's laws say that acceleration is equal to the net force on the block divided by its mass. Now, what's the net force? The net force is 10 to the right and 5 to the left, so the net force is 5 to the right. So we get A equals 5 over 5, which is 1 meter per second squared, and it's to the right. Okay? So that's the acceleration of both blocks. Alright. Now, this thing here, Newton's second law, not only does it apply to the whole lot, but it applies to each block individually. So if we consider just the two kilogram block on its own, there it is. It has a five Newton force acting that way. It has a force which I'm going to call A for the answer acting the other way. And it has an acceleration, little a, which is one meter per second squared to the right. So, applying Newton's laws, we say, all right, F, the net force on that block, is equal to mass times acceleration, which is equal to 2 kilograms times 1 meter per second squared, which is 2 Newtons. That is, we have the net force, which is A to the right, subtract 5 Newtons to the left, is equal to 2 newtons. So therefore, A is equal to 7 newtons. Okay, so the answer is 7 newtons. That one's correct. Okay, 7 newtons is the actual answer. Now, let's just do a double check using Newton's third law. Newton's third law says that if this block 
pushes with a force of 7 newtons on that block there, then the 2 kilogram block will push back with an equal and opposite force of 7 newtons on it. Now what's the net force on the 3 kilogram block? Well the net force on the 3 kilogram block is 10 newtons, take 7 newtons, which is just 3 newtons to the right. So what's the acceleration of the 3 kilogram block? It's 3 newtons divided by 3 kilograms, which is 1 meter per second squared, which is exactly the same as the acceleration of both blocks and of the 2 kilogram block. So everything is consistent. Okay? And this was the genius of Newton. He wasn't solving just for one mass. He was solving for all the parts of the system, all the things that had to be true at the same time. If you can tell us why this is such a hard problem, we'd love to know.